Ice Texas, here's the latest from CBS 19 plus our big story tonight. A line of scattered showers and thunderstorms along a cold front that moves through late this evening. A couple of these thunderstorms could have some brief wind gusts, especially as they approach Carthage and Center late tonight, maybe towards the overnight hours. And in Southern Angelina County, Southern Trinity County, perhaps a stronger thunderstorm in the overnight hours. Behind that, the winds turn to the north and it cools down tomorrow back into the mid 80s for daytime highs. We'll wake up to some cool air. Thursday morning with temperatures back into the 50s in that nice northeast breeze. So after midnight, the sky is clearing in Mount Pleasant. We're going to go starlit in 57 at Pittsburgh. In our central counties, we'll go starlit in 58 at Gilmer and clear in 57 at Mineola. Tyler dropping down to around 59 to 60 degrees. Tyler, Longview down to 62. Jacksonville and Henderson down to 63. And then that chance for some perhaps like I want to call them uh, like late, late night showers, but maybe around midnight to 1 a.m. Southern Angelina County. Otherwise, the sky will quickly clear behind that. And so by the time we get to three or four o'clock in the morning, temperatures are in the low to mid 60s and we're back to a moonlit sky. All right, 10 day temperature trend. So tomorrow drops into the upper 50s. It's a little cooler here Friday morning, but we're going to see quite the dramatic turnaround Friday with warm air moving in. We could likely see some ground fog, kind of like we did Wednesday morning. Saturday's warmer 64 in the morning, 66 Sunday morning, and then it starts to turn colder. There's a cold front dropping in and it will be somewhat cooler Monday. In fact, there's not much of a temperature spread Monday. We could be at 61 Monday morning and only up to 68 Monday afternoon. But it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week that we really feel the cooler air spilling in here with Overnight lows in the mid 40s and then it starts to warm up a little bit as we head toward the following weekend 50 on Friday and by the 22nd of October we're back up to 54. That's still below average. The average low this time of the year is around 54 degrees. All right, I'm watching something out here off the West Coast. This is a little upper level low pressure area that's getting better organized in the Pacific and this will be a big weather player as we head into the weekend. This is probably uh, the major weather player in the next seven days, because what's going to happen here is this upper level storm system is going to be moving to the east. And as it moves to the east, showers, thunderstorms by Sunday morning start to move into El Paso and into West Texas. And we have a frontal boundary dropping into East Texas. So some of that moisture out ahead of that upper low will interact with this boundary. And we could have some scattered showers and thunderstorms late Saturday night, Sunday morning. Then that upper low is going to ride along the boundary and we're going to see widespread rain off and on during the day Sunday and into Monday. So umbrella cast for the rest of tonight, just a 20% chance of rain, but it's a 60% chance of rain when we skip ahead to Sunday and Monday likely about a 40 to 50% chance of rain, especially in the first half of the day. Rainfall totals, and this is some updated information that we got here in the last 24 hours. We're now looking at in the next seven days, and all of this is really confined to Sunday and Monday, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter of rain, and that's a soaking rain. It's not gonna dump on down on us on one, like one hour. This is gonna be over several hours soaking, cool rains, just great for farm ponds and lawns and anything that just needs a nice drink of water. We're going to get that uh, this weekend into early next week. Let's go back to tomorrow. We've got northeasterly winds. Temperatures are going to be in the 80s and we've got some drier air coming in here. We'll have sustained winds at about 7 to 10 miles an hour, gusting at times 12 to 16 miles an hour. Behind the front tonight, the humidity drops again into that pleasant to comfortable range. That's good for us. It's not necessarily good when it comes to fire danger. We will notice the humidity ramping up here, especially Saturday into Sunday. We have the frontal boundary that we're dealing with, and then the drier air starts to move in by late in the day. Monday, we're back to pleasant air on Tuesday. So the forecast fire danger for Thursday is moderate to high to very high. Again, remember we have north winds, drier air coming in, and we don't see a lot of rain tonight. And so that sets us up for that dry soil on Thursday to quickly become a, the possibility of seeing some fires. All right, forecast hour by hour for Thursday. We're in the low 70s uh, at 10 a.m. We're to around 80 by noon. Northeast winds continue by 2 o'clock up to 83. We're into the mid 80s by 3, 4 o'clock. High temperature tomorrow should be about 85 to 86. In fact, here is a look at those high temperatures around the area. It'll be a little cooler. Closer to Interstate 30, around 83 at Mount Pleasant, 83 also at Sulphur Springs and Pittsburgh. In our, in our central counties along Interstate 20, Longview up to 86, Tyler up to 86, Mineola 84, Canton up to 84, 
a little warmer over uh, just south of there. Say Jacksonville around 86, Palestine up to 88, Henderson up to 87, and Carthage up to 85, and then maybe still 90 in deep east Texas. The front, again, loses some steam as it pushes into deep east Texas tonight, even though it does bring a few thunderstorms. But the highs will be in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. We're back to sunshine Thursday afternoon. So all in all, not a bad day. All right, here's the Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine Joint Hospital 10 day forecast. So tomorrow breezy with sunshine. The thunderstorms will end early 86 warmer breezy Friday 89 and then Saturday 91 20% chance of rain by the end of the day. Periods of rain on Sunday 79 morning low still mild 66 degrees. Then once we get to Monday, it's rainy at times and it's cooler as highs fall into the upper 60s. We really feel the cool air here Tuesday morning as we drop to 49. 68 Tuesday afternoon, it's mostly sunny and cool. 67 on Wednesday, sunny, cooler. 77 on Thursday, just a nice day. Friday, sunny and great high temperature around 80. And then another storm system moves in on Saturday with a high temperature right around 80 degrees and some morning showers. All right, something else to talk about. The Sky Warn Spotter Training Session. We are in that time of the year when we start to talk about fall severe weather. We do have a secondary severe weather season and we're just about there as things have been pretty quiet here recently. But once we get deeper into October, first couple of weeks of November, we start to see a more active weather pattern setting up with more cold fronts. In fact, you might have noticed the clouds today racing a little faster in the sky just telling us that our upper level flow is just a little bit stronger. So with that in mind, Skywarn spotter training sessions are now occurring across East Texas. We had one recently in Smith County and in Tyler. And now the next one around East Texas is occurring Tuesday, October 18th from 6 until 8 p.m. And that's going to be in Nacogdoches County. That's at the courthouse Annex 203 West Main Street. That's a free class for those interested in severe weather and safety. All right, let's wrap it up here with a look back at that 10 day forecast again. Just recapping sunny 86 tomorrow, breezy on Friday 89 then 91 on Saturday. So it's a hot day Saturday, but we're looking at Sunday with some periods of sunshine and uh, or I should say periods of rain and a high temperature into the upper 70s and then cooler on sun Monday, rainy at times 68 degrees, 68 on Tuesday, mainly mostly sunny and cool 67 Wednesday with sunshine overnight lows falling back into the mid and upper 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. And then as we look at uh, Thursday morning, we're still in the mid 40s for overnight lows. So we got some cool weather coming in here, and this is the first in a series of a couple of cold fronts that'll move in. And then we're warming back up by a week from Friday, 80 degrees by Saturday. Some morning showers warmer and a high temperature right around 80 degrees. All right, so get ready for some cooler weather. It eventually gets here, but we do have a warm spell in the next few days before it arrives. Thanks for watching CBS 19 plus.